I'm a Cape native, born and bred on Cape Cod, so I've always wanted to have a small cottage on the Cape that felt more like the Cape I knew when I was growing up. And I wanted to try Mid-Cape because I knew that part of the wonderful thing about coming to the Cape is you can visit all these different communities and they're all different. So we wanted to be centrally located so that pe when people came to visit, they'd have the chance to be uh, day trips away from Chatham, day trips away from Provincetown, day trips away from going to the Martha's Vineyard Nantucket. Yeah, we looked at a lot of cottages over many, many months. Many years. 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 <laughs> yeah. So when we saw this place, it was like right away, it's like, oh wow. Okay, we love the location, the cottage itself could use some work, um, but you know, it's walking distance to the restaurants, it's walking distance oh, yeah. to the beach, it's right on the water, and it's just rare to find for that price level that we're looking for. So Summer Pines Cottage is in a community called The Pines. The Pines used to be a motel. So each one of these cottages in the 50s was a motel that people would come down for the whole summer. We have a little windmill that used to be the guard and people would come down packed for the whole summer with their kids and the guard would say, okay, Mrs. Jones, you are in cottage number 13 this year and go down and people would stay all summer long. The group of cottages is right on Kelly's Pond and it's a wonderful, um, clear, it's briny, so there's half salt water, half fresh water, but it's wonderful to swim in. Um, there's fishing, there's kayaking and it's um, wonderful just to get the sparkles off the water as you're sitting and looking out the windows. And we're not too far from West Ennis Beach, which is a great beach. There's all kinds of uh, kite borders and it's like a mile long. So a lot of people um, come and check it out. Well, when we first bought it, it really was a very rustic seasonal cottage. It wasn't insulated, it had single pane glass and it had been neglected for a long time. As Yes. to say the least. The first thing we did was we added the deck and the outdoor shower because Cape Cod, you've got to have an outdoor shower. It's just, it's just the law here. We did that and then I think what we did secondly was we added this porch. And so there's no place to have a dining room table. And um, so we added this porch renovation and we doubled the size of our bedroom because we wanted to have more space in the master bedroom. Then, after a few years, we felt strong enough to tackle the kitchen, <laughs> which we had never done before. We do have a lot of little nooks here. I, I wanted to create little areas for people to get away because it's a small cottage, and usually we rent to couples or families who may want to just get away. So the kids love to go up to the lofts because it's kind of like a pirate's with a walkway in between. And we have a um, adoptive beanie baby up there. This family from Australia came and I had two um, kangaroos and they adopted the kangaroos, of course. And the mother was like, oh, of course they adopted the kangaroos. <laughs> but I, they do write, I'm, my daughter's adopting blah, 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 and named it so-and-so, so it's really, it's really, there's a correspondence with, with the renters, which is really nice. The other thing that I do is I have a blog called It's a Cape Thing, um, which I, I post once a month on either things about this particular cottage or about the Cape or funky things about the Cape. Just things that are really sense of place again um, and that people may not know if they're not from here. So it's kind of the inside tips that I give. Just about all our guests go to O'Shea's and I don't blame them because I would go, you know, every day. It's a great <laughs> Irish pub uh, walking distance just a few blocks away. Um, music 365 days a year, so any time of year they're open year round. It's great, warm, cozy kind of Irish pub. Cape is becoming a really food and drink location, which is great for us and great for. Yeah, there's a brewery for nearby too, the there's Devil's a, Purse. Devil's Purse yeah, is, yeah, is a nice. local brewery. Um, there is distilleries that are local. Really great coffee shops here in West. Three Venice. Fins, so, yeah. and we get the coffee for the cottage from Three Fins. We try to source locally as much as we can. Um, and we get the benefit of going out to these places and trying them for the guests. So it's really hard work for us, but we love it. We get to try all the new places so we can suggest what's great and what to avoid. We've had this for seven years and we've had guests from all over the world. And we've had a lot of guests come back, which is ideal for us. We really want to share it with people who come back year after year and just treat this as their own house.